real problem. That's how we ended up now having like OSR guys that are like, oh, my brand, dude, my brand. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me hook up with you know, uh, anti-Semites for the brand because it'll get me more viewers, you know. Anyway, <laughs> you know, he's still sore about that. Apparently he went on some podcast and started claiming that I attacked him for no reason, right? It wasn't because he was, he was going to, uh, never mind. All right. <laughs> oh shit. Here we go again. Worst place in the world. Alright guys, uh, sorry you had to, this has to be a video, but um, Pundit just doesn't seem to want to let this go. He says I'm still sore about this, and I think if you've watched my channel up until this point, if you've followed me on Twitter, uh, since the little slap fight with him occurred uh, about a month and a half ago, uh, you could see that i am not been too super sore about it. I haven't really mentioned Pundit once. Uh, I went on one podcast to tell my side of the story, because this guy and uh, another gentleman, um, gentleman, I've been on podcasts and uh, talking about 
uh, me on both Twitter and other places, and my friends as well, and just saying the absolute worst thing. So it's funny how when Victor and I go on to Ryan Howard's channel to kind of say our side of the story, all the stuff that you just saw uh, in these tweets where he harassed us for a week, called us anti-Semites, called us bad guys from World War II, but he's totally not trying to damage someone's image or cancel anyone. No, no, he would never do that. He's he's above those uh, rainbow-haired activists that he says he hates so much. So, you know, uh, that's the point of this video. I'm tired of this. I'm not going to speak on this again. I'm over it. This dude is a clown. He's a grifter. Uh, if you like, if you like him for his politics, um, he's going to stab you in the back because that's, that's what his Paul, that, that's his, he, he, he claims to do this, he accused me of, of searching for views and whatnot. And the dude barely talks about games. Every video he does is about some kind of drama or, um, you know, drama farming or outrage farming of some kind. Uh, the dude has just been so embedded in the culture war that it's rotted his brain. So, uh, yeah, just caution you of interacting with the dude. Uh, he's, he's completely unhinged. He thinks he's a witch, wizard and can uh, know what stocks are via magic. So, uh, with that said, uh, Pundit, um, I wish you the best in the future uh, in remaking BX over and over again and just moving everything, every resolution system onto a D20 like it's 5e or something like that. I wish you the best with that. That's going to do it for this video. Uh, Pundit is a grifter. Peace out.